What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode number two of Sidious Weeks of the Week. I am Diane from Dyer Productions, and today I got three really cool tweaks for you guys, all free in Cydia. I'll show you guys a really cool new repo source that allows you to get a lot of cracked apps, really cool ones, that are usually paid and are really expensive in Cydia, all for free. Let's get started. Um, with before this. I show you guys any tweaks in this video, I want to show you guys this really cool uh, Cydia source, which, which you're going to need in, um, in order to get three of actually around a couple of the apps or tweaks that we'll be showing in this video and um, if you want to add a new source all you have to go is uh, you have to open up Cydia you need to click on manage go to sources click on edit and then add and you want to you're going to um, add this uh, source here I'm going to show you guys um, you, you guys have to stay in the same page that you are right now and you have to um, add this it's um, HTTP uh, dot dot or actually um two dots so what's it called colon uh forward slash forward slash ihacks repo dot com um I also have it in the uh, description down below so if you guys didn't see it in this video and um let's get started we're gonna be checking out is called folder enhancer and this is available for free under the ihacks repo um what this app allows you to do is to change the way your folders are as you can see, if I go to my games folder here, it looks really cool. I actually have up to 16 icons right here, 4x4. Four four. And um, I do have this nice uh, rounded white borders on the edges, as well as um, I can have up to as many icons as um, and applications I want. I do have a horizontal scrolling enabled right now, which gives me these nice pages, as you can see, as well as a paginated dots, which tell you what screen I'm on. Um, let's go back to the settings here, and I'll show you guys uh, many of the features. Um, you can you can change the appearance of your uh, folders itself, like your text color, your background color, borders, corners, and was the as well as the color of your borders itself. It really goes um in depth of your uh, appearance. Go to behavior. You can change a lot of uh, behavior tweaks. I'll let you guys see that for a second. Uh, if you go to advanced here, you can actually get a smoother animations, which is what I recommend for kind of older iDevices devices like iPhone 3G iPod 2G, 3G, and um, as well as the first generation iPod and iPhone. I don't really recommend you uh, mess with, uh, what's it called, experimental, except um, I actually have vertical scrolling off, which is what allowed me to get, um, what's it called, horizontal scrolling, and I do have pages. So, um, yeah, some of these um, may cause bugs on your um, older um, iPod or iPhone. And the second tweak we're going to be checking out is also available un under the iHacks repo for free and it is called Speed Intensifier. And what this allows you to do is actually boost up the speed of your animations on your iOS device, which gives you the feeling that your iPhone or your iPod is faster. And of course, this does also work with your iPad. And um, when you first open up the app here, it says quadruple your expectations. And also says please respring your device after it's finished. I don't know if you guys saw in this video so far, but my um, iPod animations are kind of way faster. As you can see, if I open up my uh, multitasking bar here, it does kind of take a while, but it is really fast. Oh, wow, I got a notification. Forget that. But um, yeah, if I open up back to settings here, as you can see, everything is faster than it used to be. There, I got a little bit of iPhone lag. But uh, yeah, you could go to current selection and uh, zero right here is actually default. And if you go positive on the chart right here, that equals the faster. And if you go to negative 10 or um, lower under negative numbers, it is slower. So yeah, let's um, head on. The last tweak for this episode is Android Lock XT. And this is also available under the iHacks repo. Um, what this allows you to do is to achieve a Android-like um, lock screen opener so I don't know if you guys have noticed but um, on Android phones they have this really cool pattern like thing right here which allows you to um, actually own unlock your phone and I really like it and they actually have ported it over to the um, iOS uh, platform so I'm gonna lock my phone here and then unlock it again and you have to uh, slide and then you get your uh, little pattern here I actually forgot mine oh yeah there we go and then you actually get your pattern and then your phone unlocks um, so once you open up the application itself you can actually enable it or disable it and if you go under pattern you can draw your old pattern and then make a new one go under change appearance and you can actually minimize it which means if you click no you just um, when you just um, uh, what's it called 
unlock your phone, the first thing that comes up is the uh, Android Lock XT uh, Android, uh, what's it called? Lock screen. And you can actually tap to open or slide to open, which is what I have right now. You can also have a text string, which is, has a little bit of text um, along with the lock screen, which could tell you something. You can also change between different themes. Just to, And if you want more themes, just go to Cydia, search in uh, Android Lock XT themes, and you should come up with plenty. You can also change different patterns as well as uh, the behavior of your um, Android lock screen. Go to logging, and I don't really recommend messing around with this. This is only for uh, professionals who know. What I hope you enjoyed episode number two of Cydia Tweaks of the Week. Stay tuned to episode number three, and always make sure to like this video. And if you already haven't, please make sure to subscribe. And stay tuned next week, like I said, for episode 3 of Cydia Tweaks of the Week. As well as I'll show you guys my favorite Cydia Winterboard themes as well as Dreamboard themes. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. See you next time.